Today I'm gonna to show you how to make carioca. Now, if you've never heard of it before, I want you to take a little guess. It could be one of the following. A, a sweet fried rice ball from the Philippines. B, a type of Brazilian dance. Or C, a native of Rio de Janeiro. If you guessed A, you're correct. It's a fried sweet treat from the Philippines. Although I wouldn't mind C, although that would require me going to Brazil and then finding me a baby daddy. So, uh, a girl can dream. So back to this Filipino recipe. I'm not too sure how it got its name, but I know that it's damn delicious. And it starts with some sweet rice flour. The word sweet doesn't mean that it's like sweet on the tongue, but rather it's made from glutinous sticky rice. So it'll make a nice chewy carioca. Just gonna put that in a bowl. And I got two bowls here because I'm gonna make two different flavors. So first up, the basic. Flour is in, now for some water. That's it, that's all the basic mix is. If it's too dry, add a little bit more water. If it's too wet, add some more flour. Common sense, guys. See how it sticks together like Play-Doh? It's not really sticking to my hand too much, that's ready. I'm gonna try my hardest not to make a million ball jokes today. It's gonna be real hard, guys. Take some of the mixture, if you wanna use an ice cream scooper, you can so that you have even amounts per ball. But I just like to eyeball it like this. Look how nice and round. I am the best ball cupper. For the second variation, this has got a lot of coconut flavor. Don't know where that accent came from. So I've got some sweet and shredded coconut here and coconut milk, but we're still gonna use that sweet rice flour. You may be thinking, Jen, how is this a sweet treat? There's not much sugar in it. Well, you just wait till later because I've got something special to coat these balls. Shredded coconut. This one does have a little bit of sweetness. Let me do a little cleanup. <laughs> This is full fat coconut milk. You want all that flavor. Same process as the last one. If it's too wet, just add more dry. If it's too dry, uh, tell it sweet nothings in its ear. Yeah, this smells dope. I usually like the plain one because it's a lot lighter in texture, but this coconut one is a little more dense. Perfect consistency for balls in your mouth. Roll them up the same way. It's time to fry. I've got some oil heating in a pot here. Now you want the pot filled enough so that when you submerge the balls, they fry evenly all around. Now, if you just throw the balls in like this, they will explode in the oil, not safe. So to prevent that from happening, you've gotta skewer them. Okay, now just gently place a few at a time in the oil until it's beautiful and golden brown. These are beautiful and crunchy. Do you hear that hard crust on the inside? It's gonna be nice and chewy when you bite into it. You see the color differences here. This is the coconut one. They got nicely browned. Now for the sauce that goes right on top. I've got brown sugar. I'm gonna put that straight into the saucepan. Then some coconut milk. Turn the heat to medium, stir it around and let it thicken up. This is what you're looking for. It's nice, thick, and glossy. Just set this aside, and now we're gonna tend to our balls. It's time to skewer them because everything tastes better on a stick. Take each one and drizzle that syrup all over it. Yeah. You've got the crunchy outside and that sweet coating chewiness in the middle. Drizzle more sauce all over the top. You ain't never had balls so good. And there you have it, homemade carioca. I hope you'll try this. It's one of my favorite Filipino street foods. It is really addicting too. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. 
Kate, be sure to come back to Taste Made every Saturday for more good times with Jen. In the meantime, you can check out more awesome videos by clicking right over here and come say hi to me over at my channel, Just Eat Life.